Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and I've got myself a copy of the new Yuhi Saturn Tank Machine. Neil and I saw this at Music Mesa being demoed uh, in February this year, and we're very interested in it for a number of reasons. Uh, one of them was the complexity of uh, the modelling on it, and secondly, it has a few tricks other than just being a standard tape uh, emulator and a tape a saturator and so I want to show you those so it's from Yuhi now one thing you're probably going to be asking straight away is I'm running this in Pro Tools 11 and AX64 bit and the way I'm doing that is I'm using the Bluecat MB7 uh, to host it uh, and so as a I'm hosting it as a VST now we have uh, information from Yuhi that AAX is on its way very soon uh, so if you want to wait for the AAX version that's coming soon but if you're watching this and you're using uh, another door other than Pro Tools then it's already available at VST and audio units 64-bit and 32-bit and so uh, when you open it you get this interface and I'll quickly give you a show and tell it's pretty straightforward you have an input uh, and an output you have a, a makeup gain for any variations in the level uh, when you start doing the, the, the saturation, because the way that the saturation plugin works in is we, we drive an input as if we're driving it to tape, and then we have an output. Uh, so we have a makeup at the input stage, and we have a soft clip at the output stage, which is very helpful. We have an RMS reference as well, setting that we can use. We have metering in and out, we can set there. And we have two versions of tape, vintage and modern. Uh, and then down here, we have the speed. Uh, and if you start moving that, you'll see it going from 7.5 ips to 30. Uh, we have the pre-emphasis setting uh, as well. We can, all that can be modified here. And then we have this group section in the center where you can uh, choose groups. And so if you're putting all your drums through this, you can actually, on all the tracks, you can select, run them on the group track, and then they all work uh, in group mode. So they all have the same settings. Uh, so I've got two groups go going. I've got a, a drums group so far and a kicks group, and then I've got some stuff that's independent as well. Uh, so you can do that. We can say, I don't want it in any group at all. Uh, which is very helpful. Uh, now as well, you can bypass the tape and you can go straight through the, the circuitry without hitting the tape, which is nice and is always a good option. Now this is where it gets very interesting. The first really nice trick on this is it has a compander built in, which means that you can encode Dolby and DBX types in and out. Now where that becomes useful, if you've got old tapes but you don't have the noise reduction system anymore, you can run the tapes into your door and then you can put this across and it will encode and decode it. So you can actually uh, get it back and then you can bounce it back with the encoding or decoding happening, uh, which is very helpful. Or you can just use it as an effect as well. So you can actually have tape with the original uh, Dolby and DBX type compressions as well. Uh, they call it the UHX, uh, which is really useful. Uh, generally, uh, just play with those. Uh, I the first thing I ever had when I got into recording was a, a Porter Studio 244 and that had DBX uh, Type 2 on it, which was vile. Uh, so if I got all my old cassettes out and I didn't have DBX anymore, I could run them into Pro Tools, uh, four track cassettes, and put these across it and, and actually and encode and decode them, which is really nice. Then you can get right under the hood here and you can really start doing some geekery. Hiss, the asperity, the crosstalk, the wow and flutter, the bias, all of this stuff can be done. And then the circuitry as well, you can go through in the headroom, you can choose the what type of circuitry, whether it's IEC, NAB or AES standards. So you can really, really, if you want to, go geeky on this. Now the other trick it's got, which is very nice as well, is it has three modes. It has the tape mode, as in studio tape. Then it runs as a tape delay, which is very nice. So you can have effects and then a tape flanger as well. Very nice. So they've really thought about this and really thrown everything into it, which is really nice. So it's a very, very... Uh, feature rich product which is really nice and in terms of sound it really does sound good so I'm just going to play you a few things first so here's see so if I get something like uh, I've got this drum kit and uh, bass going and I can either go through presets here and you can see some are more noticeable than others so they've got some very useful stuff you can go straight in so you can say okay an 827 at 50 nips There's the original. Bypass it again. And what you'll hear on some of them is that actually not only does the, the sound change in terms of the dynamic range and things like that, but also 
starts to mess with the stereo image as well. Now you can start with one of these as a preset. You start one of these as a preset and then start messing with yourself. So you can start driving it harder or, or to put it into vintage tape. So I'll put it back again. You can see how hard you're driving it. So if you obviously the tape responds differently depending on how much it's got. You get a vintage tape. Just the circuitry now. It helps if we take the bypass off. You can hear the preemphasis is changing that as well. See all the top end open back up again when we bypass it. Let's get some individual instruments then. Let's just. Uh, Get you up some kick drums for a second. Here's the two kicks which are working in a group together. So let's open it up. As I say, we're running it in uh, Blue Cat at the moment uh, as, a, as a VST. So here's the kick drum. Uh, let's play that. Here's the original. And you get the normal gluing that you often get using tape emulations. And say, so then you've got a load of presets in here we can go through. That's a nice one. You can hear the harmonic really coming through there. There's both kicks now. Okay, let's try it on something else. Let's try it on this bass guitar then. So uh, let's solo that one up. There's the original. You can hear it really adding some turn into that mid, low mid. Vintage tape. Okay, go through some more presets again, some really deep ones here. That's a particularly nice one for drums and bass. Putting some real air in the top end. There's the original. Here it is. Hear that bottom end really gluing in there. I hope you can hear this on uh, on YouTube. That's always a problem when I'm trying to do demos, especially if stuff that's very subtle like tape saturation and stuff like that, because often the YouTube compression, by the time it's gone through that, it really can't make, can't do it justice. And so what you might want to do is actually download the demo. Let's show you the effects now. Uh, let's go to the snare drum here. Let's just plug it in as a, uh, that one I'll just do is just drag that down, actually it'll be quicker into here and let's go to this as an effect now and I'm just going to show you uh, this uh, in a couple of modes I'm going to show you first in delay mode tape delay which is very very nice so let's see what we got let's try some presets
bit of fun. <laughs> you can see we've got a tempo sync here as well, which is helpful. Ping pong will cross it. So you see some fantastic presets. And all the usual feedback, low and high cut. Yeah, that's really making it some really cool sound there. And all sorts of stuff. And then we've got some, some pseudo reverbs. Tape based. Very nice. That's a really sweet room reverb made up of tape. Very, very nice. Of course, we've also got flanges. That'd be nice on the Hi-Hats, actually. Let's just move it to the Hi-Hats for a second. Very, very sweet. That's nice. And because it's tape, it's got that really love thick, really lovely thick sound. You just don't get that kind of flanging from digital flanging. You can see. You can see as well the delays that are kicking in as we're doing this. As I say, overall, it's a really great package. It really does pack a serious amount of action into such a great plugin. And at the moment, they're doing a deal on it. I think it's $89. Uh, on a special, it'll be 129 on its full price. So you might want to get it in the bank now, and either if you've got the MB7 from Blue Cat running on that, or if you want to wait then uh, or buy it and, and just keep it in your repository until they go AX, which they say they're going to do soon, that's cool. If you're not running Pro Tools, you're running another door, then uh, obviously you can use it straight away. But well done you here. A big thumbs up from me. I think uh, I remember seeing it at Mesh and thinking how really powerful it was, but actually now playing with it, I realise it is very, very powerful. It sounds great. They've done a lot of great work on it, and thumbs up to them. A brilliant product. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.